Welcome. Um, I thought it would be a good idea to do the tutorial before I completely forget the song. So before we begin this song, I, I really encourage you to download one of the metronome so that you can practice it with metronome. And it plays a big role here because this song is in group of 16th. So, so it's really important to get that feel, right? So in order to do that, it's probably ideal to use metronome. So bar one begins with the thumb index. And then, right? So there, um, the technique here is the, the hammer on and pull off, right? Right? I'm not doing anything here. So, so there's two things that you need to pay attention to. First, are you getting the clear sound out of it? So, are you getting the clear sound? If not, you might want to practice um, just on the one string, like let's say first string on the seventh fret. Just practice with one finger, right? Or try your ring finger as well. And once once you practice that and you get the good sound, then try to play this again. Right? So the second thing you need to ask yourself is are you playing it with control? So although you might be able to make this sound clearly, when you play with metronome, it might not sound correct. So here is the 90 BPM, 3, 4, 3, 4. So if that's too hard, maybe play at half speed, 2, 3, 4. And if that's still hot, go even slower. Right? And once you have that control, then try to increase the speed. Let's say you got it and let's move on. So bar two. Right here. So da -da -da. So as I'm mute, like whatever you call this, as I'm doing that, I'm actually playing the rest of maybe first, second, third string with my middle finger. So, right? Right? So, da -da 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 -da. right? Sorry. <laughs> Let me go really slow. Here, um, Sangha and I am using actually thumb here, right? But you could actually use your um, second finger, which means you need to change your fingering. So you you will have to use your ring finger and pinky to do that hammer on and pull up. I mean, you could do it, but then my pinky is not strong enough to do that. And, you know, I feel comfortable using my thumb here. But then, for example, if you're using a classical guitar or um, a guitar that has a wider neck, then it, like holding like this might be uh, a bit tricky. So in that case, use your second finger instead of thumb. So let's take a look at bar five. Bar five. So that was the intro, right? So now we've got the melody on bar six. Oh, so this is what Sangha does. Um, so a little bit of slide. So again, I encourage you to play with metronome. I'm gonna put it at um, maybe 50, all right? So that it's not too fast. So. Right? 
So if you're unsure if you're playing correctly, just pay attention to this um, this eighth fret, right? So that should be that should come on fourth beat, right? Right? That should be on the fourth beat again. So song is sort of like bands that twelfth like this note. But I mean it's pretty hard, so I, I actually didn't do it in my recording. But you can do it, you can try it. So. I mean it's pretty nice, but for me it was I don't know, it was tricky. Right, let's move on to the next bar. Bar eight. The rhythm is dun da 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 ga do da two three four. Dun do ba da ga do da. Right. So dun do. So when you practice something like this, um, disregard this slight thing, right? And just practice with this note. So, right? And once you get the rhythm, then try to add slight. Um, I'm using um, so make sure you do the palm mute, right? Doing the palm mute is really important, and as in your right hand, um, Sangha is using all the dance strokes, so like this, right? But when you're playing in you know the proper tempo, 90 BPM, it, it's a little bit hard for me, so I use alternate picking. So, right again, right. So, whether you use just the downstroke or um, alternate pick, it's up to you. And again, last time. That's pull off, right? So same thing here. Play it without the slide, so it becomes right. Try to add the slide. So, bar 12. So, make sure you put your finger gently on the string, like on the 12th fret, right? So, we want to hear that note. Right? So, Let's take a look at bar 13 again. So we're not actually playing this one, right? We're just hem hammering on. So if you look at my right thumb, it goes... Right? And next one, this is... I mean, would you call it chorus or bridge? I don't know, but it goes... So in my recording, I sort of like play this note really short. So I went, but actually the way Sangha played was, so it's more connecting. Right? 
and bar 16. We go. And this rhythm is pretty um, tricky. Right? So make sure you get that rhythm before you practice it. Right? So this could be tricky when you play fast and you gotta like play this note right away. So if that's too hard, you know, I would say take this note off, right? Don't play this note. So and you will have more room to sort of like move to the this area. So again. Where are we? Bar 19, right? Here you go. So here, um, what will be tricky about this? You can do slide or right. And bar twenty two here. Same thing, right? So repetition there and bar twenty five. Right, so we we're so I got carried away and bar third. Bar 30 here. So, um, again, the rhythm. I think rhythm is the tricky part about this um, bar 31. So, Um, isn't she lovely from my YouTube channel? You, you, you're probably familiar with this um, lick. And until the end, you know, there is a repetition this of this rhythm. And for the last repetition, you go two, three, four, okay. and that's it. So, if there is anything that I missed, um, please let me know in the comment section. Um, otherwise, I think we're done. Thanks for watching.